I love the aromatic, unstructured qualities of stews and the way they look after themselves when you potter about the house at the weekend. This Greek lamb stew with pasta is one of my favourites. This is lamb shoulder, which is both cheaper and has a lot more flavour than leg. I'm using about two kilos of lamb here, which is enough to feed six to eight. That's the meat, and now the flavour base, which I think is the heart of a stew. Celery, to start. So important. Even if you don't like celery, please put some in. It adds a note that you cannot duplicate. Garlic, four fat cloves. I want this to be really gutsy. Squish the cloves just to get the skin off. It's so important to distinguish between what takes a long time to cook and what takes a long time to prepare. Because sometimes you find that dishes which take ages to cook actually involve very little effort from you. Whereas some fast food thing can take 15 minutes of solid chopping. Anyway, onions. Lots. Time to blitz. Great. There's some oil left from browning the meat, so I don't need to add any more oil at this stage. So in the five minutes or so my vegetable base takes to cook, I'm going to start peeling the carrots, which will not take five minutes, even with my clumsy peeling. The thing is, I want the flavour of carrots, all that lovely sweetness, but what I do not want is the little, little bits of chopped up carrots like school stew. So what I'm going to do is just bung them in and then retrieve them before serving the stew up. I know it sounds wasteful, but I promise you it isn't. You'll see. So that's done. And this is done. And by done, I mean Again, not coloured, just soft. Slightly translucent, but the celery adds a little greenness. Just taking half out. Spread the remaining bit of vegetable mishmash around the bottom. Just pour the brown meat back over. It's like making a sandwich. Onion mush, meat. Onion mush, delicious. But the reason I'm doing this, I mean, you don't have to just mix all around the, uh, however you want. The reason I'm doing this is because I feel that the onion, cooked down and pulverised a bit, seems to keep the meat moister, more succulent. And I don't want a stringy stew. Carrots. So some bay leaves, because I've got the sweetness from the carrots and I want some nice herbal quality from bay leaves and... Mmm, lovely. Oregano, so beautiful. With stews, really don't be too hung up on, you know, is it a teaspoon or is it half a teaspoon? Is it two bay leaves or is it three bay leaves? Three carrots or two carrots? None of it makes any difference and you'll feel so much more liberated if you just, you know, bung things in, you know, within reason. Now, tomatoes, and I've spent all day chopping these tomatoes and putting them into cans. Now the wine, whole bottle white, partly because when I ate a stew like this in Greece it was made with white wine, but also because it's nice to change flavours. White wine can be great with meat, just as red wine with fish. And water. It is very watery at this stage, and do not get alarmed. The reason is some of the liquid will just evaporate on cooking, but also because since I'm going to be cooking some pasta with this when I reheat, I want the water there so I can cook the pasta, and of course the pasta will absorb some of the liquid. Perfect, and it's come to a boil. Let it bubble for a minute. Mm. And now, plonk a lid on, turn it right down. And leave it for a couple of hours. If, however, you want us to forget about it, not even see it in your kitchen, just bung it in a low oven. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. You're just supplying low heat to this wonderful stew for two hours and it'll be cooked whichever way you do it. Mm. Ready. 
polish these carrots out. But not throw them away. Bring it up to the boil. Throw in the pasta, and this is what turns it into such a wonderful sort of one pot comfort meal. Mm. Macaroni. Okay, leave that to cook, and my carrots. Some Ligurian olive oil. More than salt. So delicious. Cook's treat. You always got to have one of those. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that takes about 10 minutes. So much in food depends on contrast, and here, against that sweet, meaty lamb stew, I'm chopping oregano, fresh oregano. I use dried in it. And then, I've got this chopped. I'm going to crumble in with it some really sharp feta. Mix them, mix them together just with my hands, you know. And this sharp and herbal mix will just meld and melt into that sweet stew. 